Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install KDE Plasma Desktop on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, okay? So for this we need to follow all these, you know, four steps, okay? So the step one we have is uh, we have to update uh, package lists, okay? So for this we need to uh, run this command, sudo apt update. Step two, we have to install this task cell installer program. For this, we need to run this command, sudo apt install task cell. And after that, uh, we need to, you know, this step 3, install sddm display manager, okay. So we have to use this command, sudo apt install sddm. And the step 4 we have is, we have to install kubuntu desktop, okay. For this, uh, we need to type this command, sudo task cell install kubuntu dash desktop, okay. And uh, these all commands in video description, you can check it out, okay? So let's, you know, go to the terminal and let's, you know, follow all these four steps, okay? So just go to the desktop, right click on this and then click on this open terminal. Okay, guys, so here you can see the terminal and guys, you can also open this terminal by using another method. So just press Alt, Control, T key on your keyboard. I am pressing that and guys here you can see that we have this terminal opened okay so the first command we have to update you know package lists so for this we need to type this command sudo apt update and after that hit enter on the keyboard so we need to provide the password so let me provide mine hit enter Okay guys, so it's done and after that we need to install the task cell installer program, okay? So for this we need to type this command sudo apt install task cell and after that uh, you need to hit enter on the keyboard. Okay, so you can see that I have this, you know, already installed. Okay, so you just need to install that, okay? And after that, guys, you need to install SDDM, the display manager. For this, you need to type this command, sudo apt install SDDM. Okay, and after that, hit enter on the keyboard. So it's installing, type yes, y, and then hit enter on the keyboard. few seconds left and guys here you need to highlight this ok ok and then hit enter on the keyboard and after that you need to uh, you know highlight this sddm ok by using your arrow keys and after that hit enter on the keyboard Okay guys, so it's installed. Let's install Kubuntu desktop, okay? So for this, we need to type this command, sudo space task cell space install space Kubuntu dash desktop, okay? And hit enter on the keyboard. And here you can see installing packages. So we have to wait. It's 99% now. Okay guys, so it's installed, okay? And guys, after that, just close this terminal. And uh, you need to click on this, you know, panel at the top right. Okay, and here we have the, the power off button. Click on it, okay? 
here you can see power off the system will power off automatically in 60 seconds okay here we have the cancel restart and power off so you just need to click on this restart and it's restarting Okay guys, so here you can see we have this KDE Plasma Desktop, you can see at the bottom, Desktop Session Plasma, okay. So let me provide the password and then click on this login. And guys, we are now logged in and here we have the KDE Plasma Desktop. And here we have the three bars at the top right here you can see we have various options over here and also at the bottom left if I you know click on this application launcher here you can see we have this KDE Plasma desktop installed on our uh, Ubuntu 18.04 LTS okay guys and also let me show you another uh, suppose if you want to go back to your GNOME desktop so how you can do that so just click on this three bars at the top right uh, click on this leave and here we have the logout click on this logout okay and here you can see at the bottom you know uh, left here we have the desktop session plasma click on it and here we have the Ubuntu select that and just uh, enter your password and then click on this login and you can see guys we are in the GNOME desktop okay so in this way you can switch it to you know KD Plasma desktop and GNOME desktop environment. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please support this channel by subscribing to it. Thanks. Bye bye.